Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I am reviewing the Clio Mini. Now when I originally saw the Mini, I loved the red and white polka dot design and I also thought that the way the top cup was shaped, it would be very similar to a much earlier Clio model called Zia. And I absolutely loved my Zia bra, so I wanted to see if Mini was going to live up to that standard. Now I ordered my 30H uh, size at the time, which is typically what I wear in Clio, and I had been experiencing some breast fluctuations, so I'm not sure if that related to the size change or not, but the H cup is about a cup size too small. Um, I would definitely need more on the double H cup size. I have a little bit of overflow right now, but I haven't even fully scooped, so I know if I did that I would get a lot more. I think it would just be one cup size off. It could also be that um, when I had these breast changes, which I mentioned, I got more tissue towards the top of the breast, so the Zeta cup, as well as the mini, both tend to cut inward a little more. Now this is in contrast to one of the other bras that Cleo does called Marcy, which is very open at the top. So this could also explain why the H cup here is just a little bit too small for me. Um, I'm going to say that this probably runs true to size, but again, if you do have more tissue towards the top, you may want to consider sizing up in the mini just to make sure that you get um, a good fit here. Now the band size is perfect. It's nice and firm on the loosest set of hooks. It doesn't feel like it's going to stretch out too quickly. So that's always a good thing, especially for women who may be needing 28 bands or firm 28 bands. The fit is again exactly what I would expect from a Clio bra. The underwires are pretty narrow here on the side. The cups are more deep. It gives a lot of forward projection and lift, which is fantastic. The straps are a little wider set, so we've seen in the store women having some issues with where the straps are placed. Um, if you have narrow shoulders, Clio may present some problems for you, but for me, they're perfectly comfortable. I love the overall look that I'm getting from the bra. One of the things I really liked about Zia was kind of like this little sweetheart look at the top, and Mini does kind of imitate that. It's very cute. I love the overall fit and comfort of it. It doesn't feel like it's too high here on the sides, which is something that I run into a lot with Panache's Super Bra line. So I like that Clio definitely keeps this a little lower. The underwire placement is very good as well. It doesn't feel like it's sitting too, too far back. Sometimes, again, with the Super Bra line, I wind up with underwires that are sitting way too far back on the side, and I end up with a lot of space between where my breast tissue stops and where the underwire starts and that's not something you really want, ideally, in a bra. With Clio, I don't have that issue, and it's fitting very well, it's very comfortable. The materials are nice, too. The bottom of the cup is a little bit heavier, so I think it gives a little bit more lift, it's not as flexible. Sometimes we get complaints in the store about Marcy, which is still one of my favorite bras, uh, about how the mesh just doesn't feel like it's gonna be as supportive or it's not gonna give more hold. A mini would definitely fix those problems, so if that is a complaint you've had about Marcy in the past, consider the mini because the bottom cup is very firm, gives a lot of lift, it's still soft and comfortable though, and the outside is actually really smooth, so it doesn't create any sort of texture. And the top of the cup is like this embroidered mesh, but it's got this stiffer embroidery here, so I think that that brings it back in a little bit more. It's responsible for that kind of dart inward. And again, that is very reminiscent of Zia. So I feel like this would be a, a true inheritor of the Zia Ron. If it was one of your favorites, definitely think about Mini. Now as far as the design goes, I love it. I love the red and white. I think it's very fun and fresh. This was from their spring-summer collection, so it was really seasonally appropriate. Has a little bit um, of that summer vibe. If you're an American, it's kind of got like the red and white thing going on. Reminds me a bit of like a 4th of July bra. Uh, but for fall, they're actually doing it in black and white which is very sophisticated. And then next year, spring is going to have a really pretty um, Carolina blue color with white. So that's really um, a great way of showing you that they can do this bra in different colors. Overall, I absolutely love this bra. It's great. I do wish that I could have gotten it in the 30 double H, um, and I will think about that in the future the next time I order it. But I would say that this is definitely another solid entry in the Clio series. It fits very well. Um, if you're a fan of the Zia, definitely check it out. Uh, if you tried Marcy in the past but wanted something firmer, also check it out. And overall, I'm going to have to give it a solid A. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in our YouTube channel. And be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, as well as Pinterest for all the latest news and event information. Thank you, and have a great day.